YouTube, what I've got here is a Dyneema soft shackle. It's homemade. This is a diamond knot. But I tied an end of it and I just uh, melted the ends of it, put it back together. And then it's just got a through pull right here. And so the way it works is just open that up. I'm trying to do it with one hand. Put the, uh, the diamond knot through, pull it tight, and it locks in place. This is uh, just a piece of nylon tubing webbing that I had, and I put it on there just to kind of protect the dynamic from getting cut. And what we're gonna use it for is we're gonna try it and see just how strong it is. Uh, I work for a company, we do some of the training for some of the overseas contractors, and they go through um, some vehicle training where we do rollover, where we're pulling the vehicle over on its side and then over on its top. And from what I understand, I believe the, it's going to weigh somewhere between four or five thousand pounds, something like that, because it has a steel skeleton around the uh, around the vehicle. Um, and I'm just going to test it and see how strong this thing is, see if we can break it. So uh, I'll let you know. We'll All right, here. this is quarter inch Dyneema with just a nylon sheath over it, made out of soft shackle. We're going to try it on a tow truck. Yeah. And see if it'll pull that vehicle right there. Let's see how it goes. Testing Uncle Greg's shoestring shackles, and I'll tell you that Dyneema and Uncle Greg's uh, crown knot made a believer out of me. There was zero stretch, zero pop. I didn't get behind the car, but I believe I, uh, I believe I trust my life to snatch a car out of that. Soft shackle again. This time. in the car. Dyneema, the homemade shackle. Stuff is great stuff. Thanks for watching. All right, supporting the whole car off a quarter inch Dyneema.